When we first looked at capital safety, we believed we'd identified one of the market leading businesses in the space with an incredibly strong brand name built on a very strong foundation in the, in the US marketplace. So we had a business that we felt would, would continue to grow very strongly because we were confident in the end markets and the, the, the specific safety driver. We had one of the market leading businesses with one of the strongest brand names in the space, an incredibly strong um, history, track record, tradition coming from the US footprint, uh, which brought with it all sorts of know-how, R&D, product development, and then it was a very um, proactive research and development driven business. We made the initial investment in the middle of 2007. We got to a successful exit at the end of 2011 with a sale to KKR and on making that sale we crystallized a 2.7 times cash on cash multiple and from an R perspective a 3.6 times multiple and an RR of 93%. On taking over the business there was misalignment stroke confusion between the business, the board and the R shareholder. What I was asked to do was to get back to double digit growth. That was really the, uh, the, the assignment. On bringing on Anders, we could then discuss with him what else needed to be done around the senior management team and structurally around the rest of the organization to drive through some of these initiatives that we had identified as being important for bringing the business forward. I took away the micromanagement structure which was, which, which was put in place by my predecessor, especially in the US, and unleashed the power in that organization. And I changed the entire management team in uh, Europe, from sales managers to technical managers to the general manager to the marketing director, we took them all out, replaced them with an American out of, uh, out of Asia. We uh, identified uh, some product gaps, uh, especially in training and in uh, systems and engineering. And then we made, how should I say, then you, you, we made bolt-on acquisitions to fulfill these gaps. We could then focus in on some of the specific areas where we believe we could generate value. Rolling out a more aggressive product development pipeline to reinvigorate the business, to geographically speaking focus on those areas of the marketplace where we could get a much faster growth rate and that meant expanding the business not only in terms of new areas but also into the areas of Latin America for example but also into Far East Asia. You had a power in the American Canadian organization which were depressed. So by unleashing that power and, that, 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 and then at the same time then capture the growth which actually came in the oil and gas market to continue to take that market share. By being very aggressive, especially in R&D, saying 30% of all products should be renewed within three years. By having that, then you are, you are really capturing the market. Anders, as a CEO, is a very dynamic individual and uh, is, is very strong at uh, delivering the right vision for the business and importantly also carrying the workforce and the company with them along that journey and vision. You have transparency, you have alignment, you have trust and then you have discipline. If, if these four are really aligned, then, then PE is the best, best ever form to be the owner of the company. What I mean with that as an example is saying for capital safety it was a very very limited board. It was two, three executives uh, and it was two, uh, two all members and we worked like a team. With the setup we had over the last two years we all aligned and once we'd set people off in the right direction they could then go off and implement and um, where, we, where we needed to provide some additional follow-on advice and support, then because of the dialogue we had with the business at that time, that was something they readily requested and we could deliver, we could deliver quickly. From cradle to grave, it is a project. You, go, you are bought, you have three to five years before the exit, and then you, ca you can't be cat and dog. You, ha you have to have that alignment, and if that alignment works, then you create value for the, uh, for the shareholders. We managed to exit the business um, from an R perspective with a 3.6 times cash on cash multiple, an IRR of 93%, and 
and from the fund as a whole, the multiple was 2.7 times with an IRR of 26%. Over the last two to two and a half years, we've taken a business that was underperforming, used the active ownership model that we are, have rolled out across the rest of the portfolio and delivered an excellent result for the, uh, the LPs and the investors in the 2005 fund.